Hello all. So if you have a car that hesitates to start when you go to turn the key, uh, it's got lo a long start time, then I thought I'd go over some causes and fixes uh, that could help you solve the problem. And the first thing is, is the thing called the fuel pressure regulator. And this is a common problem because the fuel uh, has to build up pressure inside the line before it goes into the fuel injectors to start the car. And when the car gets shut off, uh, the fuel pressure regulator uh, stops all that fuel from draining back into the gas tank and it keeps pressure on the line so when the car goes to start again it starts right up if if there's no pressure if that fuel pressure regulator fails or goes bad all the gas drains back into the gas tank it, it can take a little bit uh, to restart it up so uh, there's a quick easy way to to to, uh, to check for this which I'll show you right now and so to test if it's the fuel pressure regulator what we want to do is uh, we want to turn the key from off to on like three, four, five times and uh, and wait like five, 10 seconds in between. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the fuel pump build up pressure in the line. Because if it's been sitting and the fuel pressure regulator has let all the gas drain back into the gas tank, we wanna build that pressure up. So we don't wanna start the car. We just wanna uh, build up the pressure here to see if it starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go, it's off right now. I'm gonna go on, wait two, three seconds, go off. I'm going to wait a few seconds. And on some vehicles, you can actually hear the, hear the pump running, which is good because it, it'll slow down when it builds up pressure. And so you want to do that like three or four times. And then on the like the third or fourth time, see if the vehicle starts right up or not. And if it starts up right like that, it starts right away. And before it didn't, then you know it's the fuel pressure uh, regulator. But if it doesn't, it's still got long start times, then I'll go over some other things that could be causing it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the next cause will be the fuel filter. You want to check and if you if you haven't changed a fuel filter in a long time, then you're going to want to check that out and change it. Uh, those are uh, could get dirty, they could get clogged up, and they could uh, cause uh, the pressure not to be able to get through to the fuel injectors and into the engine. So number two is the fuel filter. And number three is going to be the, the air filter, which is inside the, the air intake box. Um, these usually, they can get pretty dirty. They'll, they'll restrict the airflow and cause problems. But what they, what they often do is cause other problems, such as the MAF airflow sensor. So number four is going to be the MAF airflow sensor, which is always located right on the intake, which is right here. And it's always, uh, it's always located on the intake right after the filter it goes right past this um, mass airflow sensor and this tell what this does is it, it it sends to the computer how much air is going into the engine so it could help mix the fuel and the air mixture which has to be the right mixture for it to, to build a fire when it goes into the engine and the and these can be cleaned up with some mass airflow sensor cleaner they, they usually don't go bad they usually just need to be cleaned up and you could take them out, you could spray them off and, and clean them and put them back in. And, and usually they'll start working pretty good again. And next up is going to be the spark plugs, spark plug wires, if you have them. Uh, some of these newer vehicles can be a little bit different. But uh, if you be sure, you might need to check your spark plugs and your spark plug wires. And the next thing we're going to want to check is you're going to want to check your throttle body. So these throttle bodies, they'll, they'll come right in after the MAF sensor. You'll come in, you'll have air intake, and then you'll be having a, a throttle body right after that that it, that it comes into on the car. And these can become uh, dirty. They usually don't need to be replaced. They usually just become dirty. And you can use some uh, throttle body cleaner and like a little toothbrush or a little brush, and you could clean inside. And uh, that usually gets them going again. So that's next on the list is the throttle body needs cleaning. And last on our list is going to be the throttle body position sensor, which on this vehicle is right down here. It'll be on the throttle body and uh, it'll just be a sensor. As you can see, it's right down there. And uh, these also, you could try to clean them up and try to uh, place them back in. But if they go bad, then they need to be replaced. But basically what this does is it just uh, reports to the computer uh, where the throttle's at. Uh, and for the gas going into the vehicle so it can so it can mix the gas and the air in the right ratio so this works together with the mass airflow sensor which tells the computer how much airflow is coming in and then uh, the throttle body 
position sensor right here tells it how much gas, tells the computer how much gas is coming in. And with that data, it mixes the right ratio of fuel to go into the engine and to fire a spark. If uh, this data gets off or gets bad, then it could cause uh, different issues and different problems with one of them being long start times. So that's basically it. And what you could do if you have a car that hesitates to start and has long start times and the things that you could check and see what it is. If you have any questions, uh, ask me down below this and I'll try to answer them. But if this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.